Next match here in the main court, amazing place here in Florida, Miami. Let's go first with Houston, with women. Okay, from Spain, Lorena Rufo and Marta Caparros. Let's go, girls. And the women for Las Vegas is Alejandra Alonso and Marta Ortega. And the men, there are Pablo Garcia and Frank Guerrero. Las Vegas form and defending champions, because they are the champion of the last year, Gonzalo Alfonso. I'm Pablo Cardona! The official picture from the last match of the day, Marta Ortega and Alonso facing Rufo. season with the finals in New York City, a city where the Atlantics are from, the New York Atlantics, one of the favorite teams. They won the first match, and now obviously are advancing into the next few days.
million dollar. That's the prize money for the entire season. $155,000 for each of the regular season events to end up in the finals with a prize money of $380,000 to be distributed within the teams. In terms of the regular season event scoring, the champion will take a thousand points. The runner-up will take Two minutes. 850, 600 for the third place, 450 for the fourth place, 350 for the fifth place, 300 points for the sixth place, 250 if you end up in the seventh place, 200, eighth place, 159 and 100 points to the last team in this event. It's very important because only the top eight teams will qualify to the finals in New York City at the end of the season. That's way ahead of us. Now we have to focus on this match between Alonso Ortega and Rufo with Marta Caparros. Well, Again, Marta Caparros and Alonso, two young players, future players, as well as Lorena Rufo. Martita Ortega has a lot of experience. Still young, of course. She has a couple more battles on her shoulders. The VAP area is still running here this amazing venue we have in the first event of the season. Coming back to the first matches of the day, the Arkansas uh, Matrix. The Arkansas Matrix beat the Cancun Waves. Then the San Diego Stingrays beat the Florida Goats. Miami Panel Club, one of the favorites beat Toronto Polar Bears and then again the Arkansas Matrix came back to the court facing the New York Atlantics to lose that matchup against one of the favorites another one the Atlantics the LA beat still playing a their match in the secondary court against the Goats another team that plays twice today and the votes facing now Las Vegas smash the match we're just about to witness in this main court here in the Ultra Paddle Club. Final movements and the warm up getting ready to the kickoff of the match to get the green light. There they go, Alonso and Caparros, the last players going into the benches. And it's going to be the Bolts versus the Smash. After this, the other match between these two franchises will be Cardona and Gonzalo Alfonso facing Guerrero and Pablo Garcia. If you look at the roster from the Y team, from the Houston Votes, they have a lot of young talent that the main idea of it, having a, a young roster, young talents, investing in the future. For example, if you look at other teams like the Stingrays, you will find more experience Players like Lamperti, Maxi Sanchez, and many others. 
Now we do have the green light. Everything is more than ready to kick off the last matchup of this long journey here in the PPL, the first day. Almost 14 in a row that we will have, 12 to be precise, in the following two weeks. The votes to serve Marta Caparros. We have a couple of Martas now. Martita Ortega, Marta Caparros. Ortega, glass finder. First point for the match goes for the votes. Facing the champions, Las Vegas and Mash. 15 all now. Good return by Alonso. It was a long serve. It's going to be a second serve. The duel in the net. Bam, bam, bam. But the Vols are taking that top. 30 love. Good move there by Lorena Rufo. It's 40 love now, sorry. Another smash by Lorena Rufo. Couple good saves from the smash from Las Vegas. Back who goes from Martita Ortega. There she couldn't get that one. Now by Ortega pushing the opponents back. Oh, the miss there by Alonso, but she got it back. Oof. With power and another block from Alonso, she goes to the right side and Martita to the backhand position. Ortega, she wanted something different. First game for the votes, first game for Houston. They take the early lead, one game to nothing. Sides. And now it's going to be the turn for Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso to serve. Scored good save by Lorena Rufo. Caparros cannot make it. The finish by Alejandra Alonso. Alejandra Alonso AA. Hashtag AA. Martita building the point so Alonso can finish it. Ball there by Marta Caparros, forcing Marta Ortega to use two walls and winning the point to make it 15 all. Yes. 
She went for the angle there, Lorena Rufo. And she found the fence. 30-15 for the smash, Las Vegas. 30 all now. 30 all. Looks like the wind is picking up up there. Makes it hard to control the lob shots. So in the secondary court, we're still playing the other matchup, the previous matchup. There we can see it. Flower the Goats got the first set by, by seven games to six, and now it's 1-1. One, one. Yes. L.A. beat. Jess Castello playing with Caro Orosi, the Italian player. Well, on the floor where the goats, you have Gemma Triai for the first time showing up in this tournament with Mapi Sanchez Alayeto. It's 15 all and 1-1 one, one in the second set. The first one, again, was for the floor where the goats. 30-15. One game off. Good to see Gemma Triai back in her best form. She was a victim of a huge infection in the last tournament in Premier Paddle. Now she's good. And that's good. 30 all. 30 all. Jess Castello and Caro Orsi playing also a good season. Jess Castello was a champion a few times already. Such an aggressive player. A serve for Mapi Sanchez Alayeto. Goodbye ball. Thank you very much, says Gemma Triay to send it out of the court to make it 40-30. Law 15. Alayeto to serve now. 15 off. Goes Gemma Triay. And they win the game. It's 2-1, two 2-1-1 to one, two and one for the Goats. They're up and that secondary court against the LA beat. And here, Lorena Rufo getting and Thank taking you. care of business, sending the ball out of the court. That por cuatro, lovely shot from Lorena. it bounce she goes down the line and she finds another winner to make it 30 all AA Alejandra Alonso she wanted to go for the fake smash there Lorena Rufo she leaves it short into the net 30 40 we have the first Break opportunities for the champions. Las Vegas smash. Not the first time. And we're going to have a golden uh, point. For the point. Martita Ortega. Calls that one. She's going to be the one receiving that serve from Lorena Rufo. The 
mistake from Marta Caparros. And the champions are a break up now. Two against one. Two against two one. First set. <laughs> Ahora ojo Big smash from AA, Alejandra Alonso. 15 love. She's young, but she has so much talent. The previous game, the champions, the smash, got the first break of the night. Rufo goes to the net. It's a high lob shot from Lorena Rufo. Alonso is going to let it bounce. Martita, the bajada. And the mistake from Lorena Rufo leaves it into the net. Caparros working a lot. Perfect bajada, but even better angle from Lorena Rufo. There goes Martita. There goes Martita with the víbora. Classic from Martita with a lot of power, a lot of spin, finding yet another winner. Forty fifteen now. Forty fifteen. The body to the net from Alejandra Alonso. The smash trying to secure the first point of the night. That was a good move, good call from Martita Ortega. And it's a game at home for the Smash to make it three, three games to one in the first set. The turn now for Marta Caparros to serve for the votes, the Houston votes. Good serve to the corner. 15 love. Oh, beautiful from Marta Caparros. Ortega touched that one. 15 all. 15 all.
15.30 again. The smash is pushing a lot. Trying to get another break. Some chat between Alonso and Marta Ortega, the doctor, former number one. With a lot of trophies in her pocket. Rufo, big hit. Brings it back. Good decision there. An even better execution from Lorena Rufo. Look at that perfect technique. Leaning back and hitting it. Good serve again from Marta Caparros. Another hold for the Houston Volts. It's 3-2-2. Smash or up in this As first set. Three games to two. No, porque es que se me ha quedado muy delante y había duda entre darle rápido o no. Sí, sí, sí. Wow, what a reach there by Lorena Rufo. But she touched the net. Marta Caparros, she was waiting close to the net. 15 love. To clean up the mess, but the touch with her left foot. Point goes to the champions. Las Vegas Smash. Ortega goes back. Now she places a perfect lob shot. It's going to die there. I don't so another big hit. Caparros out of the court. It bounced. Wrong side of the court. Taylor. it off. Marta Ortega and Alonso looking solid so far. Pretty lob shot from Marta Ortega, dominating from the baseline. She always does. That's out just wide from Marta Ortega, 30-15. 30-15. Perfect serve. Three point, and they take those for sure. Oh, yeah. Take up another super serve and the finish by AA Alejandra Alonso. Game for the smash. Another one for Las Vegas. For two, two up in this first set.
champions in 2023. Trying here to reclaim the throne. Miscommunication there between Ortega and Alonso. The point goes sí, sí. for Houston. Into the sky it goes. Alonso lets it bounce. She goes for Rufo two times in a row. That is classy from AA. It's 15 all. Big hit from Lorena Rufo now. Showing off also her skills. 30-15. Approaching maybe the end of the first set. Perfect. That was beautiful from Marta Caparros. Perfect angle going to the fence. Slicing the ball. Catching Martita Ortega off guard. Glass fighter from Lorena Rufo. Still a chance to make it 4 3 for the Houston Volts. Masterclass in her corner. Yeah, another high lob shot. She turns. Now she pushes to the net. And the angle stays short. <laughs> she played it to perfection, but the last ball was just not good enough. It's 40 old golden point. And now the chance for the champions. They want to extend the lead. They want to make it 5-2. with power the touch by Ortega or not no she did not touch that one the vault escape they survive another break point they hold Las Vegas four, three, three. for the champions four, four, three, three. for Las Vegas smash <laughs> three for the champions for the smash. Ortega placing the ball to one corner, then to the other. What a save there by Lorena Rufo using the back with bows. 
There goes Rufo again. And this could be the point of the match, but it doesn't because AA was there. Alejandra Alonso. One of the players yes, you know. for the future. Marta Caparros. 15 Forcing the mistake from Alejandra Alonso. 15 0. Dodge from Lorena Rufo. She wanted to let that one go. 15. Accidentally put the racket between uh, the ball and the gloss. The point goes for the champions for Las Vegas Smash. 30 15. Only the best two teams from each group will move on into the semifinals to be played Saturday. And of course, the final will be played the next day on Sunday. Thirty oh. all now. Thirty all. They're making Alejandra Alonso work a lot in this last game. They know that Marta Ortega is just a super class player. They have to avoid her at all cost. Couple good pickups from Las Vegas Smash. The third one is no good. 30 40. The Volts have a chance to get the break back. Two break points for Capa Rosa and Rufo. with the second serve for Alonso. There goes Alejandra. A good lob shot now from Rufo. Perfect ball. But Rufo says it was out. Ortega says it was in. Rufo says it was out. And the umpire doesn't really know. So... Uh, Let's see what the call is. So it was out. And they have it. There they go. It's break. And it's four games apiece that the Houston Volts are back in the game after getting a serve. And talking about the grandstand. And the first set, it was the Goats taking the set by seven games to six. And in the second one, it's four games to four. But just like in this one. Yeah, a lot of paddle to be played. Caparros finding a winner in that corner. 15 love. Oh, 
30 love now. Good move there from Caparros and Rufo pushing from the net. Alonso was trying to go from the baseline to the net again, but the block was just no good. Flat smash from Rufo. She was trying to catch Martita Ortega off guard. Martita was there in the net, but she was not Final. able to bring it back to the other side of the net. 40 love. The Houston Volts can make it five games to four. They can take the lead. Forty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Forty thirty. After being forty love up now, things are getting complicated. A really close match. The smash was up, a break. They had a couple opportunities to make it two, but then a super comeback from Rufo and Caparros happened. Close the deal. Once again, the retake the lead. Five four games to four, four for the Volts in this first set. New balls, please. of this Pro Paddle League in the Grand Sand Court. The Goats have won the first set by seven games to six now. They're 5-4 up and 30 also off. approaching the end of the match. It's a match point 30-40 for the Goats. Eye and that return. The block now from Sanchez Alayeto. Gemma Triay with a super smash to bring the ball back to her court to finish the job. It's game set and match for the goats for Sanchez Alayeto and Gemma Triay. 
Taylor. Against L.A. Beat. Against Jess Castillo and the Italian Caro Orsi. So we will have a third and decisive game since Tolito Aguirre and Javi Leal won their match against Pablo Lima and Pablo Lijo. Back to the center court. Perfect back and volley through the middle. A dagger from Marta Caparros. Tita Ortega. Touch from Caparros. She touched the net again. 40-34, Ortega Fuente. and Alonso. First set. Ortega, how volley now from Rufo. Two blocks in a row, fantastic job for Lorena Rufo. And then Marta Caparros down the line again. Went to oversee. It was in or out, and it was out. It was out. So it's game for Five game all. Las Vegas Smash. Five games all. serve. Class finder from Marta Ortega. 15 point love. for Houston. Justin. Perfect lob shot. Perfect lob shot. 50 no. Make it 50 no. Sends it to the glass. This was not the moment to do it. 15-30. 15-30. Once again, the champions pushing and pushing. Fighter now from Marta Ortega, two in a row for her in this game. Go oh, Paddle League 2024 kicking off today with a long day of paddle. Okay, 
Messi, says Marta Ortega. Of course, that 40, 30. was the play for her. 30-40. 30-40, and they have two break points. I just love the communication that Marta Caparros has with Lorena Rufo, cheering up her teammate. Bien sacado too, that was a good serve from you. From Marta Caparros to Lorena Rufo, and they need another good serve now. It's a golden point, another break point with Las Vegas Smash. Big hit from Marta Caparros, now Rufo to the fence. Good defense from Alejandra Alonso Martita goes to the net, big save from Caparros, and we start again. Just in from Caparros, and that's in from Marta Ortega to the corner. Play to perfection, Martita, the doctor, to get the break, to take the lead, to make it six games to five in this first set. Back to the action, back to the main court. Las Vegas smash up a break here in the first set. Six games to five, 15 love. 15 all now. After that mistake from Alejandro Alonso, 30-15. Going fast, going quick. The champions want to close the first set. Perfect smash down the line from Marta Caparros to make it 30 all to stay alive in the first set. There she was. Perfect execution.
pure class from Alejandra Alonso. First, a good in. serve, and that the backhand volley to the corner, to the side wall, to make it 40-30 to have two set points. Caparros goes to the net. Rufo was waiting for Alonso. Ortega pushes forward. And once again, the doctor finds a winner. This time to close the set. Seven games to five for the champions. For a set for Las Vegas match. Las Vegas leads. One set to love. to the main court, the first set was for the champions. It was for Las Vegas Nash. And after a short break, I'm again with my teammate, with Cam Erwin here in the English booth. Welcome back, Cam. It's been fun to watch this first set, watching court side. It was ex exceptional in terms of inclusion of it. At the end of the day, when you have a player like Martita Ortega, she is going Love to take care of business. And she did in, in that golden point to break the serve, and then at the end of the set point. Yeah, you can tell in terms of how she's also leading her partner. She's the origin of communication between the two. Arte goes out of the court. She saves it. Yeah, with plenty of space, too. Give yourself time to get reset. She goes to the backhand position now. There she is. Beautiful point. Alonso sends it wide out of the court. Yes. That's a shame. It was a good point. But it's pure smiles from Las Vegas Smash. I think one of the things that's so fun to watch in this sport is just the amount of foot speed that's required. This is a great example as Martita comes back into the court and watch just it throughout the entirety of a, of a rally and what she's able to do. Her feet never stop moving, constantly adjusting to the opposition. That's a high lob shot from Marta Caparros. Bajada down the middle. And Marta Ortega sends it to the fence. 10-15. 30-15. I thought I might be one of the tallest people in the Ultra Battle Club, however. Caparros has got me by a couple inches. Yes, I mean, it has to be you, Caparros, and Tamara Icardo, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so 
She has this particular technique when serving, moving a lot her body. Look at her. She's. Oh, she does. She almost takes a step back before she steps through the bowl. That is unique. 40-15. Maybe to create an extra amount of power. 40-15 for the votes. <laughs> I was going out, but saved it by Martita Ortega. And Fire now three. she finds yet another winner. Perfect Vibora. What's wild to think about is how each of some of these contacts, oftentimes the grip changes just slightly enough. It's fun to watch Rufo uh, in the midst of that last rally, kind of opening up that paddle, fi or excuse me, the racket face just a hair more on that volley, creating more of a linear attack. Rufo with power, Alonso was close to the net to clean up the mess. Yes. And point. it's going to be yet another golden point, a break chance for the champions at the beginning of the second set. The hang time on Alonso is pretty impressive. Hanging it at the is. top of her jump. Waiting patiently. Just out. It was long from Marta Ortega. They missed the chance to break the serve at the beginning of the second one. It's game for the votes. One and game to nothing. It's so interesting to me just in terms of how you draft these teams, right? As we take a look back at this game point. But this Houston Volts team, known to be one of the youngest in terms of the combination when you look across the 10 total teams in the PPL, they're really banking on what we'll say is an upside. Little to no ceiling, just like the paddle court. It is, and there you have also teams like the Stingrays with a lot of experience. But yes, you have to pay attention at that combination. You have to find players that you believe they're going to work as a team together whenever you make the lineups according to the play style and the experience and also the personal connections. I think it's very important when it comes to creating a roster. And yes, in this case, the Houston Volts, they have a, a pretty young roster with a player like Marta Caparros, like Lorena Ruf, like Claudio Jensen, Guerrero, Pablo Garcia, a lot of them, and of course, Guerrero. After missing a third chance to break the serve, now they win the first point. Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso. The grandstand. We already have the LA beat against the Goats matchup. The mixed doubles. We have Aranza Osoro playing with Victor Ruiz, while here Alonso sends it out of the court. And for the LA beat, we have Torito Aguirre and Jess Castello. They're fighting to take the win. The Ghost took the women's match and the beat the men's match. Oh, classy from Alejandra Alonso. That was a beautiful touch. Perfect angle, but the young player. That's such a really, really impressive touch, especially considering the ball having to travel all the way to that right side of her body on that backhand side to bring that back cross court. Shot that requires great amount of patience. 40 love. To make it one game apiece. Ooh. There she is. That's two in a row from Alejandra Alonso. One game over. It's a hold That's for a Las Vegas smash. It's a rolling winner. Top spin on it this. Is. Just like a little wrist action on it. The racket opening it. That 
was a peekable shot, actually, right? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I think lots of top spin. Yeah, a little bit of a half volley there. <gasps> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That hurts. <laughs> Come here, I'll give you a hug, and <laughs> it's good. The worst part of it is that you lose the point. It's, yeah, a double-edged sword. You're not walking away with anything after that. You get a tattoo and you lose the point. A bit of a shove to get that to the backcourt. Oh. That went down again, the glass making it tweaky for Marta Caparros, the humidity. There you can see how it goes just down. Yeah. And Marta Ortega says sorry. Humidity high, temperature starting now to, to drop. So we're playing the 10 o'clock hour this evening. 10 o'clock. We started at 8 a.m. in the morning. And here we are, enjoying this first day of this amazing tournament, this Pro Paddle League, the first Pro League in the US. Another country that this sport wants to conquer. Today is a great start. Ortega sending the ball to the other court of this venue. 30-15. 30-15 for Rufo and Caparros. Artita running forward and sending the ball out. <laughs> That's not going to be enough. 40-30. Had plenty of time to think about that one, too. Not only that, watching it fall back to their side of the court. And also, Cam, it's quite complicated when you let the lob shot go and the bounce just basically stays super close to the wall. There's no space between the wall and the ball to put the racket and hit it. to the fans, beautiful defense from Alonso. And it's once again, Adiusa, golden, golden point. point, another chance for Ortega and Alonso to get a break in the second set. Can they do it now? And the block from Ortega, that was insane. The finish to the corner. Brilliant perfection. Another save, another goal for the Houston votes. They keep the lead. Two one up at the second set. Estamos perfectos. Felizmente me perfecto. Va, pero saque bien y el saque de ese siempre con el empate. 
Uno va bene. Non sai che parlo neanche Back to the action. Alonso, she has a big repertoire. It's a great word. Yeah. It works. It works great. But she does. I mean, she can do absolutely everything in a court. Just like this again to the corner. Taylor. Dirty law. Slowing the tempo here. Extra words for the Houston Volts. A mistake now from Alejandra Alonso after a couple winners. 10-15. Seems like she was a step back. 30-15 now. Beautiful, beautiful, perfect placement from Alejandra Alonso to the fans. 40 15. Three chances to make two games apiece. Right here, right now. Rufo out of the court, but the ball stays in, comes back to the court. It's game for the smash. 2-2. Two -two. Rufo doing the work to get outside the court. However, this one, it's just on the top of the fence. Look at that. Down the line, Ortega just in. Perfect bolt. Beautiful forehand. Take all the return winners you can get at this point. Shorten the length of point. Find one the easier way. Contra pared now from Alonso. He's going to place. A uh, soft bajada, now pushing the opponents back. The doctor, there she goes, Ortega, and the mistake from Alejandra Alonso. She cannot believe it, but it's a 15 all. I think Ortega wanted that one in the middle. It's Alonso tough, took especially it. with that forehand through the middle. You'd think she'd want to try and take over. Caparros finding a friend back there. It's super tricky when it goes to the corner cam because you never know if it's going to go to one side or to the other, if it's going to hit one wall, the back wall, or the side wall. Makes it super hard to read. This time, Marta Ortega was a victim. Now she's going to that back wall to clean some uh, sweat drops. Maybe some humidity off the exactly. wall. Exactly. Getting humid here. This 
is the last matchup of the day, but we have a couple more matches to go between the vaults and the smash. Yes, it is a big hit there, Cam. Yeah, it just clipped Martita. 40-15. Oh. Beautiful save from Alonso. Amazing way to adapt. Corner. The big hit from Lorena Rufo finding another winner and closing this game again. 3 to 2 up in this second set. We'll be back very shortly with more of this PPL 20. Stand the LA Pete fighting against the Florida Goats to see who takes the point in the group. Tolito Aguirre playing with Jess Castello no, and Victor Ruiz with Aranza Osoro. There they go, the beat. 30 15. We were talking. Your, oh, sorry. I was about to say we're testing your ability to be able to keep up as we've got two different Good matches team. for teams showcased in just two screens alone. It is, and uh, we were talking today about how the backhand player is the most attacking one. In this case, for example, the beat made Tolito go to the backhand position, even if it's not his natural position. And Jess Castillo, she usually plays on the other side. But since they're going to be playing a mix match, they decided to yeah! switch sides to have Tolito attacking a bit more, if that makes sense. No, it absolutely does, yeah. Playing your offside so that you have the stronger arm on the backhand side. 40-15 now. A chance to make it 4-3, the Goats. Enjoying another match here in the grandstand of this EPL venue here in Miami in the Ultra Paddle Club. 40-15. Victor Ruiz and Aranza Osoro for the Goats. Jess Castello and Tolito Aguirre for the beat. Trio. Big smash from Victor Ruiz. 
And it works. It's game for the Goats. Four games to three in the only set. The deciding one in the grand start. With power, Lorena Rufo. 15 love. 15 love, no breaks in this second set. Another time with power, but somehow Martita Ortega got that one. She goes to the corner. What a performance in that point from Martita, the doctor Ortega, with a super block and then with a vibora to the corner. Start calling her the surgeon. She's just slicing and dicing through the court right now. It was amazing the fact that she was performing at a top level, being number one, and at the same time studying medicine. Amazing feet. Oh, to the fans. Classy from Marta Ortega now showing up. That's why, and that's the reason she's a superstar. Look at that. It's 15.30, another risky situation for Rufo and Caparros. Ortega is there. Just sticking a hand in there. Rufo, a couple nice digs. Tertio. Some frustration from Marta Ortega in that. Vibora into the net. That's costly. After being 15-30 and in a good position, now a couple of mistakes from the smash to make it 40-30. The smash from Rufo, the block from Alonso. She goes all over the place like a Pac-Man. Again, the mistake from AA from Alejandra Alonso. No break still in this second set. Caparros and Rufo 4 3 up in the second one. Cleaner, please. Cleaner, please. Cleaner, please.
everything to be determined in this second set. Las Vegas Nash got the first set by seven games to five, and now in the second one, it's four games to three for Rufo and Caparros from the Houston Volts. We will starting tomorrow. We will be starting at 8.30 a.m. once again, a local time for the San Diego Stingrays uh, versus the LAP, followed by the Atlantics facing the Cancun Waves. After that, the Arkansas Madrix facing the Houston Volts. Miami Paddle Club versus San Diego Stingrays, Las Vegas Smash, New York Atlantics to end up the day with the Goats facing the Potter Bears. that following back to the net. High backhand from Ortega and it pays off. Not an easy shot. Taylor. Using the top of her backhand volley. And it's a 30 love. Even if we cannot say that Caparros and Rufo are not uh, playing a good match because they are playing a good match. I think that so far, Alejandro Alonso and Martita Ortega are just playing a solid, solid, and really good match. I think a bit better than the opponents. And it's these key moments in these key points are getting just a bit better. 40 love now. goes cross court. Beautiful angle by Caparros to go to the net. To take the attacking position. Perfect defense from Lorena Rufo, but after that, the mistake from Martita Ortega makes it 40-15. It's wild to see how you can string together contacts, not only to set up yourself, but also your partner. From Alonso, Martita goes to the net. Martita, another winner. Four games. A great performance for Marta Ortega. She's supposed to be the captain of the team, and so far she's showing up. Another game, another hold for the smash for Las Vegas. Four games apiece. And in the grand stand, it's five games all. Super, super close between the LA Beat and the Goats in that mixed doubles. Caparos looking at her racket. A little frustration after that last contact. A we all do rattle. that. I mean, it's always the racket's fault. Of course. <laughs> 50 no. Ortega. Alonso goes out of the court, but 
he was not good enough. That was smashed again for Marta Caparros. There's something Ortega. bothering now Marta Ortega, a light maybe, closely into the umpire's position, or maybe back in the VIP. I think they might have figured it out at this point. Oof. What a smash from Lorena Rufo. You need some personality to smash against the smash. Against the Las Vegas smash. I was going to say that's not an easy task, especially considering their opponents. Another hit by Lorena Rufo to hold the serve once again to make it 5 more short break and we will be watching what happens in this second set Houston Volts, Las Vegas New World is New World The votes five four up against the Las Vegas smash. Marta Ortega to serve. Unlucky for Marta Caparros. I like that you tried to go off the second bounce. <laughs> the ball bounced on that four meters fence and went to the opposite direction. Now, watch out because the bolts are coming. Because the volts are coming. 15-30. This could be dangerous. From Marta to Marta, from Caparros to Ortega. It's Alonso's turn. And it's a glass finder. And the votes. Get a 15-40. The votes have three set points to send this to a tiebreaker. Oh. 
Rufo in her corner. Caparros also in defense. Alonso with personality and this important hey, moment executing to perfection that smash. It's another couple set points. It's still a 30 40. Rufo and Caparros doing a brilliant job to stay alive. Block from Caparros. The block from Caparros pays off. And it's set for the Houston Volts. Six games to four for Caparros and Rufo. And yes, we will have another super tiebreak. We go to the other court right now, 6-5 and 30 all. What a volley there from Jess Castello. 40-30. from Tolito, 6-6, six, six, and we will have another super tie break. So we're gonna have a super tie in that grandstand and another super tie in this main court. Tiebreakers all day long. All of these matches have been just within reach for each of these opponents. We like to keep things exciting here on the PPL. <laughs> But two super ties at the same time, that's something unique. It's a tie in itself. We're going to try to keep the record and the score Ooh. from both of them. Redo. One zero now from the Goats for the Goats. Good serve for Ruiz. side to the other she's magnificent what a player Jess Castillo so fun to watch love the way LA is completely connected right now time great communication and celebration between slap the ball from Tolito Aguirre to make it 2-1 for the beat Third set, one for super LA. tie break, up to 10 points. Houston to serve. If the beat win, this is going to be a day to forget for the GOATs. Played two matches and probably losing both of them. It's 3-1 now for the beat. Zero one. It's the Viking Aranza Osoro to serve. Ruiz to the corner. Tolito defending absolutely everything. Castillo goes to the net. One one. Castillo diving for that one. But Tolito was not able to save the second ball. It's point for the Goats, but still a 3-2 up for the beat. They have a mini break. Meanwhile, on championship court, tie break already underway. Jess Castillo to serve in the grandstand. Okay. 
One, two. Castelló and Osoro playing one chiquita after another. Now Ruiz is going for the power smash, but he misses it. It's 4-2 for the beat. He was complaining about maybe some sweaty hands. And the racket just becoming some slippery. We're gonna two, switch two. sides again. In that grandstand, the beat trying to get the first point of the season. Tolito Aguirre and Javi Leal won their match. Gemma Triay and Sanchez Alayeto won theirs. That's the reason why we're deciding absolutely everything in this tiebreaker to 10 points. Castillo to serve. Or two up for the beat. Frog in the middle of that. That was smash from Torito Aguirre. He goes down a line. He thinks it's in. Ruiz thinks it's out. And the point goes for the beat. It's 5 2. Ruiz is going to make Four. his argument here. Las Vegas leads. Four points to two. The umpire says it was in, and that's the final call. Either they like it or not, the GOATs just have to accept it. Ruiz is going to continue the conversation. No. And they may have changed the, the decision here. Replay the point. Tolito is saying, I'm in front of the, that play. I can see it perfectly from my angle. And I'm telling you, it was in. But Aranzo Sora and Victor Ruiz are saying it was out. So uh, either they replay the point or the initial call stays. I think they're going to replay the point. And it's going to be a 4-2 for the beat again. Just got ready. to serve. The defense, this time it was out. Toledo. <laughs> Exceptionally frustrated. 4-3. Still for the beat. 5-3. The angle from Tolito stays shorting to the net. Four, four. The goats trying to stay alive in the match. Six, three. Another serve now for Aranza Osoro. Be a second serve. Contra pared there from Tolito. Good block from Jess Castillo. Seven three. Back to the right side of the court. Good ball again. 
from Jess Castillo. And they're feeling it. They are not short of any sort of fight at this point on at the all. side of LA. 5-4 for the beat. I think after that replay, they've got a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. While in the main court, we have a 7 3 Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso. We're enjoying both matches. It's 6-5 for Los Angeles. And the grandstand. And an 8-3, now 9-3. And match game right now, game match. set and match for Marta Las Ortega match. and Alejandra Alonso, the champions, Las Vegas oh, match. Take the first win of this new season. Brilliant performance from the doctor and for, from the young, talented player, Alejandra Alonso. What a match. And now it will be time for the men's of the team. Gonzalo Alfonso and Pablo Cardona to try to replicate what Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso just did. Oh, oh, so much time to celebrate as they picked up the women's match. Pure joy and happiness from Las Vegas Mash. We're securing the first win of this series. It's a good first step. And again, to me, we will have one, two, three. Yes! Woo! Okay, they were happy, clearly. But now, before the interview, it's time to go back to the other board because we have a magnificent end of the story between the beat and the goats. Is Ruiz serving? Castillo working in defense, Tolito joining the party. That was out from Tolito. No, si el tema es que con la luz está, todo lo que es blanco se refleja mucho. Esto se refleja, las gorras se reflejan. O sea, no es una muy buena idea la gorra blanca. And once again, controversial discussion there between Tolito no, and the Empire. Pero me estaba agobiando tanto que digo, prefiero decirlo. And in just a few seconds, we will go also with the winners. We will go with Martita Ortega and Alejandra Alonso. Welcome back here to the main court. Congratulations, Martita Ortega, Alonso. It's a great game. Really tough game, Martita Ortega. Wow, great victory. <laughs> Uh, well, I think that every player said before, but I want to take this uh, opportunity to say that it's a pleasure to be here. I think it's a really nice project for the paddle in general, so I'm, I'm, well, I'm really grateful to be here and for the PPL. I want to congratulate them because I think that the organization is pretty good. Uh, we are going to enjoy and we are going to have fun this week. Uh, and I want to congratulate Alejandra because she was so nervous, but she did a really great job. It's a pleasure also to play with you. I think you have a, a long career. So I wish you the best and it's, uh, I'm grateful to be with you here. <laughs> I think we are going to do a really great job. Thank you, Martita. What's the meaning for the one of the best women ranking like you, Martita Ortega, are playing here in Miami and also for the paddle? Um, well, I think that for every player, not top of the ranking, also everyone that is in in the in the team is uh, having a, a nice. It's gonna have a nice week. Um, I think that every player is important for us because uh, maybe next week um, another players uh, another players play. So it's important for the sport, but I think is the is the aim of this uh, to watch the sport in all around the world. Uh, we are going to try to to do our best, <laughs> so so we can we can play more games and and enjoy this till the end. But I think it's important for the sport in general, you know, not for every player for the sport. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, 
Marcos is here. <laughs> Marcos is the commissioner of the PPL. Marcos is a crack. Yes, I know him for a long time, and I'm happy that he's uh, organizing everything. Yeah, thank you, Martita. Alejandra Alonso, what's the meaning of for you playing with uh, Marta? Um, also, the victory today. Uh, well, I think that playing with Marta is amazing. Uh, she's a really nice player and also a really nice uh, person. Uh, I am having very fun this week with, with her, also with all the team. And so I just want to say thank you to play with me. Congratulations, Las Vegas team. But in the secondary in court, the, next game. the LA beat Jess Castello and Tolito Aguirre have won their match, so the LA beat take the series in that court. They're knocking down in that encounter and their opponents, the Goats, the flow and the Goats in a tense match. And there goes Torito with his son. So both matches are over, Cam, if that's okay, and you agree with it. We're gonna do a short break and we'll be back with yet more action here from the center court and this Pro Paddle League 2024 kickoff here in Miami. 